Hi, my name is Kristen and I'm with Case Co Arts. And today we will be doing a spiral acrylic pour painting. Now, I'm not sure if anyone has ever done this, but to my knowledge, I'm the first person to do the spiral painting and blow it out in a spiral design. I will be adding more to it once I am done. So in the meantime, I would like for you guys to pay attention and join me as we are about to do another acrylic pouring video. Let's turn our pain into paintings. If you want to be notified anytime I post a video, hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Now let's start the video. Our base for today's color is going to be black. I have a lot of black mixed up in here. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. In addition to the black, we will be adding a lot of different colors today. So I chose to go with peacock colors. Um, I have done peacock, peacock colors in the past, um, but today I wanted to try some new colors. So this is a color combination that I mixed up on my own. This is blue violet. Then I have, um, deep violet, I have phthalo green, turquoise blue, dioxazine purple, um, I'm pretty sure this is an olive green color, then I have prism violet, I have silver anniversary, I have red violet, I have a color combination that came, um, that I scraped, um, off of one of my canvases and or the paint that was left over on top of my surface and it made this really pretty blue color right here and then of course last but not least you guys know I have to add my bright aqua green I know it is a long color combination that we will be adding but I really want to see how these colors turn out in the spiral design so I will move my paints to the side and we will begin with our black base I have my black base here. And I will go ahead and pour this out. And this may be enough. If not, then I will add some more to the canvas. Let me go ahead, grab my blow dryer, which you guys know I always have handy and my blowtorch right here. I'm gonna go ahead and blow this out now. <clears throat> Now, generally speaking, on my lives that I do on my TikTok, I will turn my blow dryer up just a little bit higher. But on my actual videos that I do recordings without them being live, I don't like to turn my blow dryer up high. If you guys want to skip forward in the video to when I'm done blowing this out, feel free to or I will skip this part in the video depending upon how I feel. Okay, I have my base on here again, which is black. I am just going to take my fingers along the side to make sure that it is good and filled best as possible. And all you really have to do is use your finger just to tap along the sides that do not have any paint on there. Okay. Let's go ahead and pop our bubbles with our blowtorch. And I wanted to 
do the spiral pour. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, <laughs> but I had some, some other ideas as well. Um, the first color that I will be adding is going to be dioxazine purple. So I'm going to start in the middle like this. And this is what I mean by spiral. Okay, dioxazine purple. Next up, I'm going to add my turquoise blue. Trying to follow along this pattern. <clears throat> Hope you guys can see that. Next up, I am going to add my prism violet. After my prism violet, I will add this color that I created. Trying to go a little bit fast here <laughs> since there's so many colors. <clears throat> then I'm going to add my deep violet. All really pretty colors. And these, in my opinion, are peacock colors with this spiral. Add my phthalo green. Really, really pretty. Okay, um, then I'm going to try to, <laughs> try to add this color. I may go ahead and pour it inside of this cup so I don't get too much of the color. Again, this is red violet. Kind of reminds me of quinacridone magenta. Which I thought about adding in here as well. Okay. Then I may be able to pour some inside the top. And this is the blue violet color that I was telling you guys about. And the top worked out pretty well. Okay. So now I know the top works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add this green color. Just to throw in some brightness. Then my bright aqua green. Again, you guys, I know this is <laughs> a lot of color on here, but this is the vision that I had. And then last but not least, I have to add my metallic color, which with this color palette, I decided to use the silver anniversary because usually I use gold and I figure why not just go ahead and try something different and use the silver. Okay, so now that I have all of my colors on here, I'm gonna go ahead, pop my bubbles. I know you guys can see that because it's plain and clear to see with all the colors that's on there. And now I'm going to take my blow dryer and I'm gonna try to blow this out best as possible in the spiral design, probably starting from the outside. Here we go. And we did it, you guys. We did it, and it turned out absolutely beautiful. I Again, I've never seen anyone else do this spiral design inside of their acrylic pores. To my knowledge, I'm the first person that I've seen 
do the spirals. I have seen several people do several different styles while doing acrylic pouring. But this right here, this is absolutely amazing. Once I take you guys in for the final results, you will be astonished. <laughs> I know you guys can see it from that portion, but I do want to bring you guys in closer to see this. In addition, I want to blow off this gray. I'm sorry, silver right quick. Okay. Now it is time to bring you guys in for the close-up. Absolutely gorgeous. Come on in. And here it is, you guys. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this area right here. It's absolutely beautiful. That green in there, the light green, it's, it's very, very pretty, as well as all the other colors. And it does, in fact, remind me of peacock colors. Absolutely amazing. Taking you guys in, in the middle, right here, the lacing that is in this painting is so beautiful. I'm so glad, even though it was a lot of colors, I'm so glad that I used all of these colors. Turned out absolutely amazing. Well, we have just created our spiral pour with Case Co Arts. Thank you guys so much for joining me as we have just created this beautiful, beautiful painting using a black base, all of these different colors that's on this side. Um, I'm making sure I didn't move any of my colors over to this side so I can remember exactly how this was done and the colors that I use for this beautiful, beautiful creation. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is Kristen with Case Co Arts. I pour on everything. As I always say before I sign out, number one, stay safe. Number two, stay blessed. And number three, no matter what it is that you are facing, turn your pain into paintings. Thank you so guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Make sure you're following me on all social media platforms. Also, check out my website kazeco-arts.com.